All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got another banger of a comparison video yet again for use today. And this is definitely going to be a good one. And as the title reads, we got 2009 Dexter the Blade Jackson versus 1993 Mr. Olympia runner-up Flex Wheeler. And boy, oh boy, did these two look fucking fantastic. And even though Flex is a lot taller than Dexter, they both resemble each other physique-wise. In my opinion, anyway. Because 2009 Dexter Jackson was definitely the best Dexter Jackson to ever step foot on a bodybuilding stage. And Dexter placed third in in 2009. Are you fucking kidding me? Third? He should have at least placed second. Not that little fucking gremlin Branch Warren because no one was beating Jay Cutler in 2009. That's for damn sure. But nonetheless, Dexter was robbed in 09 because the 2009 Mr. Olympia version of the Blade might be the best all-around physique I've ever seen. Perfection at its fucking finest. But then on the other hand, we got Flex Wheeler in 1993, which in my my opinion was the best flex wheeler of all time even though the 1999 mr olympia version of flex wheeler was really good i just think 2009 was even better so i'm so curious to see how this comparison turns out because it's gonna be a good one so guys without any further ado let's just get right into this one let's get it on and we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And I'm going to go and I'm going to give Dexter the first point. Look at Dexter in this pose. He looks fantastic in this pose. And might I say his quads were the biggest in 2009. Look at how ripped they are. They're nice and separated, nice and deeply cut. His calves, eh, they're not the best because black people really don't have good calves and I'm not trying to be prejudiced, but it's the truth. Black people have shitty calves. So I am going to go with Dexter. I mean, Flex looks okay, but his lats aren't flaring out whatsoever. He doesn't have a great V taper. His quads look all right, but he looks a little shallow. So all in all, Dexter the Blade Jackson is going to get the point for the front relaxed. Off to the next pose, and we got the front lat spread. And yes, Flex Wheeler looks great. His quads look good, his midsection looks good, arms and shoulders look good, even though he's using oil in the biceps. I'm going to go with Dexter. I think Dexter displays a great front lat spread. I mean, not for nothing, he definitely brought this pose up from like, let's say 2004, 2005, 2006. He was so much wider in 2009. Even 2008, his front lat spread didn't look like this. He looked a lot better in 2009 in that pose. So all in all, Dexter is going to get the point for the front lat spread. Right. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep. And you know what? Even though Flex is using oil in the biceps, I still think I'm going to go with Flex Wheeler on this one. I think Flex's quads look a little bit better. I think his midsection's a little tighter. He's got a nice little V taper going on. And his arms are huge. So are Dexter's. And Dexter looks great in this pose as well. I mean, Dexter's silhouette is just phenomenal. But this one could go either way. Uh, Flex looks a little more aesthetic, but like I said, this one could go either way, but I'm going to go with Flex Wheeler. All right, guys, now we got a hands on the hip most muscular and a hands clasp most muscular. And I couldn't get a hands on the hip most mus well, hands clasp most muscular for Flex Wheeler. So we're going to have to go with what we got. And um, I'm going to go with Dexter Jackson. And if you guys think back to the 2008 Mr. Olympia, Dexter looked nothing like this in the hands class most muscular. He just totally filled the pose out so much better in 2009. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Flex looks fantastic. And I know that the pictures are in black and white. And people say that you can't compare black and white pictures to color. But yes, you can. Yes, you can. But I digress. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the crab most muscular. And this one's going to go to Dexter. Now, I know, like I said before... The uh, black and white pictures to the color, you know, you could still tell the difference. I mean, not for nothing, the lighting is a little bit different. The lighting is better for Dexter, but I am going to go with Dexter because you could tell Dexter has so much more striations. He's got a nice bow going through the chest. He just looks unbelievable. So Dexter Jackson's going to take that one for sure. All right, guys. Now we got the side tricep, and I know Flex Wheeler's hitting the pose a little bit differently, but this is the way Flex Wheeler hit the pose uh, for the side tricep in 1993. He never held it the conventional way, but 
still, all in all, Flex Wheeler's going to get the point. Look at how nicely shaped that fucking tricep is. It looks like a horseshoe. It's a nice horseshoe-shaped tricep, nice and deeply cut. Then uh, Dexter Jackson kind of falls into the pancake department. I tell you, Dexter has a shitty side tricep, but I digress. So Flex Wheeler's going to take the point there. All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the rear lat spread. And uh, this was a tough one. This was probably the toughest pose for me to judge out of this whole comparison video. I mean, Flex Wheeler looks really good. He might be just a little bit wider than Dexter, but that's to be expected because Flex Wheeler is fucking five foot eleven, five foot ten, or whatever, and Dexter's only what five foot six and a half. So it's to be expected. But I'm still gonna go with Dexter Jackson in the rear lat spread. I think Dexter Jackson held one of the best rear lat spread poses of all all time. No, seriously, guys, this is perfection at its finest. So Dexter Jackson's going to get the point. I mean, it could have went either way, but Dexter just looks a little bit better. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh. And you guys know the way I feel about Dexter the Blade Jackson in the ab and thigh. I think it's one of the most perfect ab and thigh poses I've ever seen. And that's why in the beginning of the video, I said that this might be the 2009 version of Dexter might be one of the best physiques as a whole I've ever seen. All right, guys, now we got the rear double bicep and the last pose of the night. And I'm going to go and I'm going to give Flex Wheeler this one. I think Flex looks a little bit better. He looks a little bit wider, if anything. He's got shitty hams and glutes. He always did. He's got a decent lower back, but he's got a little more detail. And his traps are popping a little bit more. And it's a rear double bicep, so we got to go off the biceps as well. So all in all, my man Flex Wheeler is going to get the point there. All right, guys, I'm sorry. That wasn't the last pose. This is the last pose of the night, the side chest shot. And of course, Dexter Jackson's going to take this. Dexter's side chest is popping a lot more. The side sweep to the quads look fantastic. His arms and shoulders look a little more striated. And like I said, I know that the lighting is a little bit different. But you could still tell that Dexter holds a mean side tricep pose. So all in all, I'm going to give Dexter the point for the side tricep. And let's just go and tally them up, guys. We got Dexter the Blade Jackson with seven and Flex Wheeler with three. Wow, I thought Flex Wheeler would have did a little bit better than three points. But regardless, that's how good Dexter Jackson was in 2009. It might have been the best all-around physique I've ever seen. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who do you really think was better, Flex Wheeler or Dexter Jackson? Because this comparison could have went either way. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up.